Hey guys, just want to show you some of the stuff I picked up today. So, this is a Titanic Adventure Out of Time PC game. Comes with two discs. Get this little guy out the way. Came with the pamphlet. Looks pretty cool. We got disc one, hybrid Windows and Macintosh version. Hmm, it's pretty cool. Cyberflix. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, check that out. <laughs> it looks tight. Alright, my husband's jealous he didn't get to see that cool rainbow effect. Oh no. Alright. That's actually really cool. Alright, that's probably the coolest part about this game, but I wanted it anyway. <laughs> so this is a 1996 PC game. The system requirements, Windows 95 and 3.1, so yeah. I don't know if my computer is going to be able to play this. We actually have like a Windows 98 and maybe a 95. I don't know if they work though. Alright. So, well one of them I know doesn't work, the other one kind of works. Alright. Of course, my new computers have, I've lost like five new computers and the old uh, Windows 95 is still churning, so go figure. I'm on a laptop right now that I barely used and which is like almost unusable at this point because so much is broken on it. Alright, this is cool. This is a screenshot from the game. So it looks like it's sort of a mystery game where you have to maybe find stuff, which is cool. I like those kind of games. Oh, this is cool. Like a map of the whole ship here. Huh. The poop tech. Right by the second class stairs. <laughs> those stairs. <laughs> it's the poop deck. I can't help it. My husband is laughing at the poop deck. <laughs> so of course now I'm laughing. Alright, anyway, what is this? Eight Deck Bridge. Does that say eight? Oh, it's so tiny in real life. Uh, aft Grand Staircase and Reception. Cool, I feel like I'm on the Titanic now. There's like even tinier words here. Wait, let's see if we can see what the, uh, the phone, what this says. Oh. Like... It's so tiny that it's just a bunch of random pixelation dots. It's not even, well, it's not even a real word. So I guess when you play the game, then you can read this. But I'll have to do that later. Because like I said, I don't even know if my computer can run this. Cafe Paris, Parisian, Parisian. Cafe Parisian. Hmm. Bidet Cabins. Something kind of scribbled there, so that must be like your room or something. First class entrance. Grand staircase. That's for the rich people. They got to take the first class staircase. Four castle deck. I'd probably be like... It's not even on the map, because they only have second and first class. I'd be like on the bottom dancing with all the other... Uh, Poor folks's. It probably like for second class. I don't know. Probably today's standards would be like that's all it costs, but it was probably worth a lot more back then. I right, click the red areas on the map to jump to that area of the ship, and then it says deck. <laughs> so hard to read this. Something deck. You really can't. Bay. 
It's not the poop deck. <laughs> okay. Something deck. A deck. B deck. C deck. D deck. E deck. F deck. G deck. Okay. That's a lot of decks. So, I guess that's... <laughs> Shut up. Oh, wait. Tech support. If you need help with your game. Noon to five. Ooh, they're up all nighters. Doing that tech support. <laughs> Back in the day. <sighs> now just try to get a response at all. You probably can't even get anybody to answer your question. All right. Save open something. Ah. It's so hard to see this. It's so tiny. Okay. Okay, I'm going to skip that because I cannot even read it. Help. Credits. Maybe. Yeah, credits. Okay. So whatever that says. I think it's D. I don't know. It looks like dirt or something. There's no way it says dirt, though. Because that's your uh, menu. So let's see. Okay, so there's another screenshot. So you got pictures. You got keys everywhere. You got a ring. A necklace. You got like a magnifying glass, so you probably can make things bigger so you can see them better. Oh, there's like a letter over there, so you probably want to read that letter and see what that's all about. A notebook to go through. Some binoculars. And then, okay. There's a couple other things. It's too hard to see from this little black and white grainy picture. But anyway. Oh, here we go. Save, open, quit, help, credits, okay. Keys, direction, indicator, sound level, theme, dialogue, subtitle. So that's what this says over here. Is those. Not that anybody was really that interested, but that's about as good as it gets in this old uh, handbook, so... Talking to the care. Oh, you can talk to the characters. That's cool. Objects may be picked up or examined when you see the hand icon. Also use the hand icon to point and click on doors you want to open or on other areas such as pictures that you want to examine closely. To give an object to someone or place it somewhere, simply click on that object when it is in your main game panel and drag it to that person or location. Click on an object to pick it up. It will instantly appear in your main game panel and be added to your inventory. Cool. Talking to the characters. Talk to the characters by clicking on them. A series of questions will appear. Choose what you want to ask by clicking on the appropriate question. Choose wisely. The first question may not always be the best one. Listen carefully. You can never be sure when someone will offer help, uh, helpful advice, or let a secret slip out. All right. Cool. If you didn't hear what a character said, click directly on him or her to replay what was last said. So basically, they just say the same thing over and over again. <laughs> no, I don't need you to repeat that. I clicked on you by accident. Go away. Okay. You can skip past conversation by using the escape, escape key. Mac owners, press whatever the hell that is. Okay, I am not a Mac user. I do not know what that thing is. And it says command period. So I guess that's what that is. Okay. We're learning something today. Using this command before selecting a question will end the conversation immediately. So in other words. Oh, okay. So you can skip the conversation. Well, that's good. On Mac and uh. But if you have Mac, you get to push a cooler button to end the conversation. Saving your games. That's tight. Extra help. The character smells. Your steward gives you general information. Smells. Like, what do we want to name the steward that you know your character's gonna be talking to? Let's name them Smells. They're a steward on the Titanic. Okay, wait. Gives you general information on using the keyboard and mouse and how to play the game. 
the lift operator in the purser can tell you where to find a location or a passenger respectfully, respectively. Yet another character, Leland Trask, can provide information about particular objects. I feel like half the names, they're like, let's come up with something really strange. And then the other half, they're just like, uh, oh, Trask, that's cool. I'm going to find out what the purser is. Titanic, Adventure Out of Time. Oh, they give you installation instructions in case you're struggling. There's no uh, auto menu popping up on the screen. You gotta go to like... Let's see. Windows 95 and later. Insert the disk on your computer in your computer CD-ROM. Select Install Titanic from the window that appears. Follow the on-screen instructions. For more information about the DirectX, ver the DirectX version of Titanic, please see the section DirectX support below. Cool, I never had any, like, uh, the best computer game we ever had was, well, we had, um, what's it called? <laughs> oh, Deja Vu on this little itty-bitty Mac computer that we had. I don't know, when I was, like, 13, somebody gave it to us. And, um, that was it. And then we got a Windows 3.1, and it just, like, didn't do anything. There was no purpose in having it. And somebody gave us Windows 95 and 98 on disk. So I took those, and I upgraded the computer to 95, and then straight to 98, which was pretty cool. And we got to, like, pretty much bypass Windows 95 for the most part. Um... But we had Mist and Riven for, like, Windows 98. And, um, that was the best PC game we ever had in my house. Like, we didn't, my parents didn't get games or anything. So, um, I had, like, a Nintendo, a Game Boy, a Game Boy Color, and a PlayStation 1. That was it. And I had one friend who had a Super Nintendo. Oh, I had a Nintendo. I don't know if I said that. Um, my friend had a Super Nintendo, and I got to play Donkey Kong and Super Mario World at her house, and that was it. And I had, like, I don't know, maybe 20 games total growing up, but I also grew up at the game arcades with my dad, so, um, which I'm, I'm actually working on another video, but it wound up taking forever to kind of give more of a backstory about me, but, um... Yeah, I'll talk all about how I grew up in the game rooms and what games I liked to play growing up and all that. So, all right, here's the second thing I got. PlayStation Greatest Hits in this cool double jewel box. Gran Turismo 2 for PS1. And I have this game already, um, but I have only one disc of it. And it's like in just a little tiny thin jewel box, like somebody put it in there. Um, but it, it didn't have this on it. Um, it's a little bit different. And then here's... I don't think I had the back cover. I don't remember, but... I got some cool art on here. First place. That's what that looks like? Okay. There's a car. All new rally racing. In-depth simulation mode. Over 20 highly detailed tracks. And some cars coming out of a picture. Racing on a higher level. Wow. They went all out on the uh, writing here. Two discs. One or two players, memory card, four to 15 blocks. Make sure you got enough before you play the game. Analog control compatible. Vibration function, function compatible. Cool. Alright. The world's most advanced racing game returns with thunderous new features. Over 500 racing machines from world-class manufacturers. Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, Aldi, BMW, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Citroen, Daihatsu, Dodge, Fiat, Ford, Honda, Jaguar, Lancia. I'm not going to pretend like I know how to pronounce car names. Okay, let's go. You can read them. 
Uh, come on, come on. All right. This one. All right, all right, all right. There's arcade mode, which I don't know if I had arcade mode or simulation mode um, on my disc, so it would be cool to like try the one I didn't already have. That's cool. I like talked more about the uh, Titanic game. <laughs> Obviously I'm pretty excited about the Titanic game. I don't think this can come out. Oh, let me show you the artwork in here. All right, so, got some cars. And, got another car. This one has stuff all over it. Mitsubishi. Honestly, I'm not much of a sports car person. Like, if I was going to choose out of all the cars pictured here, I would probably choose the purple one because it's purple. So. Alright. Got these today. Going old school. Basically, I bought a bunch of these. I wanted to have the whole set finally. So I got a bunch of them from the thrift store and I got this one. And then when I went to watch it, it froze right after they killed the troll in the bathroom. So, or knocked it out or whatever. And then I didn't have this one yet. And I think I might be missing one more of the seventh movie or something. One of the seventh. Okay, so then this is pretty cool. It is a robot on a string. This came in a bag of stuff for 95 cents. So I paid like, I don't know, 10 cents or something for this. Yeah, probably about 10 cents for this. Okay, it's got this little controller. It says remote control. I put some different batteries in it, but I don't know if mine are any better than the ones that came with it. But basically, you can do this. <laughs> no, he's stuck on the... This thing is not flat, so he's getting stuck on it. If he can come forward. Let's try to move him back a little bit. There we go. So he's made in China, and he's got, like, a number on him. I always like to try to find this stuff online, like, look up by the number or something and see if I can find it. Sometimes you can if you know the right search words to look for on eBay or something. But usually it's just, like, blue made in China robot. It's not, like, any kind of brand, so. It's probably an um, imitation of something. It looks pretty cool, though. I like it. And he's like a zombie robot. He just like put his arms out in front of him. And... Alright, let's see if I can get this right. So his arms are kind of loose. No, I, I had it earlier. But... Robot zombie. What else did I get? I got this guy. And I actually saw these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar each around Christmas, and I didn't get any of these. And I had two of them. The only problem is that this guy's leg is broken here. And actually what it is, because I, I took this apart earlier, because I was hoping to fix it. But there's like this little tiny round plastic piece that's like right here inside. And the middle piece that's um, the motor in here that gets you know it's attached to this there's a little piece in the middle and then on this side this leg has you can see the bottom hole here 
and there's another one right above it and there's a little tiny plastic piece that comes out of this middle part and on this side it's there so see the leg is attached to it but on this side it's actually super glued in the thing now because I was trying to fix it but it comes out on like this little itty bitty like I don't know it broke off so tiny there's just no way to super glue it and fix it because then the leg wouldn't even be able to move at all so and I was trying to super glue and it just kept coming off anyway but he still looks cool he's going on my shelf gotta figure out where to fit him I'm gonna put them all up there together and make just like a little robot display eh. all right just, there we go he's got like a jet pack on and I don't think he can go anywhere but we'll see It's not going to do anything. Okay. thought it was doing something earlier, but apparently not. Nope. Doesn't want to. Maybe I glued it <laughs> too much or something. Anyway, then there's this other one. And this one was actually still in a little bag by itself, even though the paint is messed up, even though it was still in the bag. Um, but he does work, so show you him. This little guy. He's also got a jet pack, but he's a little different than the other guy. I think he's cuter. He's got like this little jet pack on. All right. <clears throat> and this guy does work, so let's try and wind him up. There we go. Oh, come on. He can't get over the thing in the the rays either. Oh. Come on. Alright, well, I'm just going to have to move this for a second and show you my dirty paint, painted table where I paint miniatures. But it's a mess right now. There we go. Oh, isn't he awesome? I don't know if they still have these at the Dollar Tree. When I went back, I didn't see any, so. But, think about it. I could have paid $2 for just these two. And I paid a dollar for this whole bag of stuff. And I got this awesome motorized robot, too. I paid like 10 cents each for these things. And then these guys are pretty cool, too. Because... As you see, there is two of each of them. Cool. And then, just to throw in a little bit of a something extra, there's this little guy. like a gummy robot. Kind of looks like Frankenstein robot. Well, if you ever wonder what Frankenstein would look like as a robot, that's him right there. Okay. And let's put all this stuff out the way. Oh yeah, there's two more things to show you. Thought that almost almost done. It's a little guy I started working on but didn't get very far. Got three of them because they came in Magic the Gathering Planeswalkers. There's another one. Didn't really start him either. But this guy is as far as I got on him. I'm trying to stick with the uh, bases to make them work. They all have different color bases. And I want them to be able to, um, oops. Uh 
here's a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'll show you these real quick too before I go. <laughs> Some junk I've been working on. This chick is in the middle of being redone. I had her on like a stand, but I didn't like it, so I just took her off of there. And basically, she, she came bent, so I was like, okay. What do I do? So the foot was bent, so I just made it like the zombies are after, and she's running, and she breaks her foot, and you know, it's like all gross, and then, no, ah, I will prevail. Wow, she just got stuck to my finger. Okay. This guy is not quite done. Let's see if anybody can recognize him. Huh, he only has one eye finished. Oops. Ah. Alright, comment below if you think you know who this is. And who it's going to be. Really, this is just not working. Also, comment if you think you know who he originally was. Oh, well. And then this chick, I like her. And you can see how small these are. They're miniatures. Yay. Oh, I'll show you these real quick. Comment below if you know what game these are from. Dun, dun, dun. And where they come from. The gas station parking lot usually. I thought using real bottle caps that I found on the um, ground was a better idea because you get this variation of what they look like and um, they also look more realistic of course but you know this is made out of clay this is not a bottle cap for real. See? It's clay. I have more. Uh, <clears throat> not finished ones, but I have no idea where they are. This is what I'm looking through. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Well, it's two, and I very badly taped them together. That's where I keep my miniatures and stuff that I'm trying to work on. Not done. Not done. Oh, there's my bottle caps. Yay. So these are the ones that I'm... Oh, these are, um... Yeah, started basing these already. <clears throat> Obviously didn't get finished because they're not all the way based yet. I'm going to get back to the video that I was doing in one second. Anyway, yeah. 
bottle cap. Sweet. Obviously, I don't have very many yet. But I'll keep working on that. This one's cool because it's like a thicker one. So, um, I might try to make that like, you know, a specialty cap or, you know, not Nuka-Cola, but like a different brand. Just kind of make up my own or something. guy originally painted him like um somebody from the Wizard of Oz but I changed my mind and went back and changed some of it he's still not finished yet actually did I change him I think I did I just did him a very similar color to what he originally was I got this today. So, um, contains one compact disc with complete full color libretto, but the funny thing is it's in a two disc thing, so I thought one of the discs was missing, but it comes with this. So this thing basically needs its own side, and I'll show you why. Uh, dump it out. Okay because it is like an actual pamphlet and there we go. Bernadette Peters, Joanna Gleason, Chip Zine, uh, Zine? I don't know. Tom Alridge, Robert Westenberg, in Into the Woods, a new musical. Music and lyrics by Stephen Sodheim. <laughs> Written and directed by James Lapine. Cool. That was a pitiful scream. RCA v Victor original cast recording. And you can see. Awesome picture of the whole cast posing together. Oh, cool. Look at this picture. Even like in this picture, the background looks pretty realistic. That's cool. I wish I could go see this on a Broadway one of these days. 